Today I'm going to clean the mass airflow sensor on my Ford Ranger. It has about 200,000 miles on it and this is the original sensor and the engine has started to run kind of poorly and I think this might be the culprit. What we need to do is first remove this plug and then remove these two screws. These are some kind of cryptic uh, Torx head with a stub in the middle. I don't have this type of driver so it's uh, needle nose pliers vice grip time. Just and once you get these broken free a razor blade can turn them out the remainder of the way. And this one looks like it has some goop in it so I will just use my pliers to loosen it. I've removed both screws so I can lift the sensor out of the housing. And there are the sensor wires, there's two of them. And I'll take it into my workshop and see what kind of damage I can do. I've removed the mass airflow sensor from the housing and it consists of two wires and the way the sensor works is it heats these wires and then as air moves past them it cools them down and the more air that passes by the cooler they get. One thing that I've recognized right away is that the side of the wires that face the oncoming air are much dirtier than the back sides of the wires. Here's a picture of the side of the wires that faces the oncoming air. As you can see there's some debris. And here's a picture of the back side of the wires which is much cleaner. So this really tells me that there is some debris on the wires and it probably is making the sensor read inaccurately. So what I'm going to do is fill this little cup with, with not water but paint thinner and place the sensor in there and I think I'll just let it sit overnight. I've put some paint thinner in this cup and now I'll just dunk the wires and hopefully that will loosen up some of the deposits that have been kind of cooked onto those wires. I've allowed the sensor element to soak in paint thinner overnight so hopefully some of the cooked on deposits have become loosened. The next step is to use a cotton swab and very gently clean the element wires. To help me with this I'm going to use a jeweler's loop because that's just how I roll. I need to be very very delicate with this because the only thing that these wires were designed to have pass across them is air. So any kind of abrasion is really not what they were designed for. I'm using paint thinner as a solvent because there's no danger of it um, harming the plastic enclosure or any of the seals. The downside of paint thinner is that it will leave a petroleum residue so I will have to wash it with alcohol afterwards. I finished cleaning the sensor wires with the paint thinner. The last step is to use some denatured alcohol to clean off any residue that might still be on the wires. You can use denatured alcohol or rubbing alcohol. You cannot use this kind of alcohol, however. 
This is a clean Q-tip with alcohol on it. And I'll just lightly clean off these wires. I finished cleaning the wires with alcohol to remove any residue. Now I just need to reinstall this sensor into the housing. Here are a couple of before and after photos of the sensor wires. Now that the sensor is clean, I can carefully place it back into the housing. I want to be very careful with those little wires. And I'll replace these goofy screws. I've finished tightening down these screws and the last step is to reinstall the plug. And that's how you clean a Ford mass airflow sensor. Thanks for watching.